Hello everybody, Session here. Welcome to a kind of a spin on a Dead by Daylight tier list, if you will. So this is not like a tier list in terms of killers that are like the best of the worst or you know, you know, the meta or non-meta. This is a tier list that kind of focuses on how scary killers can be when they're applied in a certain way. That includes like perks, add-ons, you know, builds, map locations, all that stuff. So if you do enjoy content like this, I do appreciate it if you can hit the sub button and ring the bell, drop a like button, and then just, you know, let's just get straight into it. So, kind of like looking left to right, uh, we got ourselves the nurse here for starters. So, nurse is kind of interesting because she obviously is able to teleport and appear in places, and her pressure is very, very much like a fear to deal with sometimes because she can just teleport out of nowhere, you know? So, I personally have to put her in the spooky category because she just really has the capability of, of just like appearing magically out of nowhere, you know, and like ways that can hide her terror radius, especially when she's like on the way, when she's blinking, makes it even worse because she really can just, again, peer out of literally nowhere. And maps like, you know, RPD or even uh, like Cold Wind sometimes just like catch me way off guard. So. I definitely gotta give credibility to the nurse for being a very scary killer, uh, just because of the fact that her blinking is is pretty, you know, random to deal with. So, clown, honestly, I gotta put clown in the no category. I think he's honestly the worst killer in terms of like the the scare factor because his whole design as a kid um, is very like much like a pressure. It's definitely like he's at his moments though where he might you know be using a perk like trail of torment or something, and then you know you just automatically find out like he's on the way, but it's kind of hard for him to, you know, run around being a big killer, but also not being able to even use his power as a way to like, um, like appear out of nowhere. Cause you can even use like the speed potion, but again, like the prep for that might be a little bit rough because you just like throw it on the ground, wait for it to manifest and then walk through it. But if you hear the actual potion breaking on the ground, you're like, okay, like he's, you know, like it's a clown, right? And it's, and there's somewhere, but it, it's not really too easy to, uh, catch people off guard and like scare them you, i mean you definitely get you know pressured by the killer a lot he's a great pressure killer but as a killer that can actually like invoke like fear not not too much in terms of the killer's like prowess the idea of the clown is definitely you know fear inducing for a lot of phobia reasons for sure um and i don't want to take that away from anybody who's like a, like a, it's like a fear of clowns but i feel like for me personally the clown um even if you hide their radius there's nothing that really tells me like oh my god like i gotta hide you know He's just kind of doing his business and just letting it run. So, <laughs> oh, shape. Myers is it, probably the scariest killer in the entire game. And I think that people really have learned to take advantage of that, too, for a wide variety of purposes. You know, with the scratch mirror being a thing. Um, I've definitely taken advantage of that, too, in my own scenarios. You know, we have a lot of moments where it ends up being a Myers scratch mirror some map appear out of nowhere swinging and then the worst part is when they do that thing that they hit you and they don't chase you they just go back into the shadows Myers that play that way easily the scariest thing on the planet when it comes to this game so I honestly am I'm very glad though too that Myers is like the killer of choice because you know, he scared me as a kid, he scares me today, and there's nothing that will ever stop me from, you know, being afraid of a Myers, just creeping around every and any corner that's like about. So that man is a nightmare for sure without question. You know, even other builds too, where you basically have him use the, um, and he has iridescent stuff, you know, where he gets the instant kill, or even like the, the, un the infinite, um, like tier three madness thing. Like he, he literally just gets to run havoc, you know? He, he's the he's like one of the best killers at being able to like slow the pace down for a lot of reasons especially because like he is who he is and he he has a wide range of cover too so i i gladly make you know myers the number one scare killer i think in the entire game he definitely has a lot of competition like you know not he's not the only one up here but he's definitely up here with a purpose and that's great so even adding to the nightmare category you know hag too hag is a killer that honestly people I honestly wish that people play them more, may play her a lot more frequently. Uh, she's she's freaking scary, and her whole trap thing with the jump scaring it's it's insane. Even if you know to like crouch under you know crouch under the trap or even like flashlight it, it doesn't matter. Especially because like you don't really get to find out where she is. She just kind of gets to appear out of nowhere, you know. 
Now, of course, you know, she's a very reactionary uh, stealth killer in some cases because of her teleporting, but she still will, like, freaking get people out of nowhere. Um, especially for, like, early players. Like, if people are buying this game for the first time and they're playing and they, they encounter a hag and they don't know how her powers work, she's scary. Like, terrifyingly scary. Um, and her builds, too. Like, she has such a wide variety of builds that she can work with, and it's actually pretty insane. Um, the fact that she also can just use her add-ons as well to allow her to be able to teleport into different places and do stuff is also kind of crazy. So I I don't honestly see hags be played enough in this game. I would love for people to figure out ways to like, you know, make her even more terrifying than she already is just because the jump scare thing alone is looking the same. So hag is a nightmare. I can't even deny it. She's there for a purpose and reason too. And I appreciate that. So, you know, shout out to the hag for being top tier in terms of the fear factor. <laughs> Doctor, here's what I will say. Doctor is on the eerie level of fear. Uh, the thing is that he's also a pressure in terms of him trying to get you to go insane with the, you know, the shock therapy and, and do all that stuff. But um, I'm pretty sure he has some kind of add-on or power that basically like limits or lowers the amount of sound that comes out of like the big blast therapy that he has, and when he uses the big shot especially in, in maps that are like kind of smaller that can cover a lot of ground like it, it'll be very crazy to be just working on a gen casually and then all of a sudden you know he's just boom it just shoots out it catches me off guard a lot um one thing for sure though is that he uses the um you know when you get to madness level two how his uh like his like phantoms i'm gonna call them just like appear while you're working it's kind of hilarious though to actually see that they just kind of appear in the moment um those definitely got me when i was like early playing this game but now i would say that that catches me a lot less often i'm more shocked but <laughs> by the um by the actual big blast that comes from him when he uses it but I would honestly love for them to figure out if the devs were able to actually make it so that you see like a phantom running out of a corner and approaching you kind of that would make it so much worse because you don't hear a radius from that. That'd be so crazy. So but that being said, though, as a killer, I, I give him credibility. He's not he's not not scary, right? He's definitely like creepy. So he, he kind of comes out of nowhere um, with his blast shots. And I think I appreciate that, too. So, hey, power to doctor. Huntress now Huntress is kind of like an uh-oh killer. Here's the thing you hear hatchets that fly from the sky across the map and honestly credibility to people who can snipe with those things because they're definitely like you don't really get scared from the Huntress but you definitely get like a shock factor when you see a hatchet flying and you're like what is that thing and then it hits you or if it like barely misses you. Um, but I think like one thing that the Huntress can do, I think, and, and kind of add fear to her, her, you know, crazy is when she can basically not be in like your camera's field of view and then throw a hatchet at you, even if it like doesn't hit you. Um, she's definitely very, you know, uh oh, esque because she can just like, again, throw hatches from far distance. You don't see it coming but then when you do see her and you see her winding it up it, it's kind of like a okay i gotta just hide and like wait for it but i feel like because her power requires like a wind up time you know you don't really have to worry too much about you know thinking about what to do you just got to get away so even in even in maps that are very like small corridor or two you know when she's down the hallway her only objective is to just throw the hatchet straight and just try to catch somebody in the wind but in other maps that are very large, that cover like a lot of ground where she can, you know, hail Mary hatchets. Yeah, that's when her factor really kicks in in terms of fear. So I feel like her, if there are more maps that allow her to do that, especially when you, you know, don't see the hatchet coming, that would be a very cool um, moment for her to shine in the fear factor. Also, if they can add an add on to like quiet the trajectory throw of her hatchets, definitely would, would change up her whole thing too. So there you go. Oh, cannibal. Okay, here's the thing. Bubba is definitely a very spooky and weird, freaky killer to catch, you know, in the moment, especially when they're like using undetectable stuff. Because I've had my own moments where this killer appears literally out of nowhere and is using some kind of, you know, like a trail to torment or even like playthings, something of the nature. But there are moments where I don't even hear the chainsaw and he's revving it behind a door and then he pops out the doorway 
as I'm coming and then just immediately catches me. It, it's so freaky. Um, he obviously just gets to run a havoc around. Like when you see a cannibal, you don't want to get anywhere near them. And th But then when you find out that they're like near you, then yeah, you kind of hit the panic button a bit. Whether it's a locker or behind some kind of thing or look for a pallet, something of the nature. But, you know, people have definitely come up with builds that really allow him to be almost as creepy as this guy but not creepy enough to the point that like you know you can't figure out what he's doing or where because whenever you fight this killer and you don't hear the chainsaw you know you can immediately think that something is wrong i feel like that's really what it boils down to with him so you know creepy very spooky killer i i'm, I'm not a fan of him in rpd he scares me and i you know we're here so freddy here's the thing I feel like I'm going to have to do some kind of like, you know, review per killer in depth to really think about it because Freddy is honestly like an uh-oh killer because he, he can definitely catch people off guard during the, the dream thing, like putting him in the dream world and actually recently discovered, you know, in my hours of playing that he's invisible completely to the visual eye. Um when you're in the dream world and outside of a certain radius, if they can somehow make that radius like a lot closer, then he has the capacity to be very, very scary, especially when you can um, hide his whereabouts. Because even if you use the dream world power, um, you actually know where he is, even though it says that you're oblivious. It's, it's actually very fascinating. But as a killer, I, I put him at a lower category. I wish I could put him up here, but I can't because, um, not even not even the fact that the um like the hud tells you it's a freddy but just the fact that his power alone it kind of reduces the ability for him to um like really get the jump on you even when he uses his teleport you can hear and see him coming even if it's like a fake out you just know that he's gonna do something to kind of pop up behind you or even in front of you so it's kind of just like a you know okay he's coming kind of vibe so I'm hoping that they can give Freddy. Freddy is a very famous killer and a classic one at best. I would love to, for them to put him up here somehow in some way, shape, and form. So, Pig, I'm not going to lie to you. Pig is a nightmare. And it's not even because, like, it's a pig face kind of thing. The thing is that, like, she's a stealth killer. And she can crouch behind small things. And she's small. Um, I remembered the first time I dealt with a devour hope um pig that just was in you know in old Haddonfield if you know that map her creeping behind doorways is something fiercely crazy to deal with that's some stressful nonsense um especially because like you don't even get to hear her coming because she's so quiet people use the charge attack but like if you want to really scare people don't even use a charge attack just like you know hide behind like a like a thing of grass or like behind a doorway and then just either sit there and wait or just kind of slowly creep in you'll catch people off guard even if they're looking at the doorway with their camera it, it's insane so i can't even deny how scary as heck pig is and honestly if i could ever make a request if people are like ever watching this in, instead of her having like her traps like her bear traps give her a scratch mirror and just let her crouch and be able to see aura of people nearby she will be a menace of a killer to deal with it would be so crazy because like for her to be able to like do what she does already is in is insane so her having abilities to be able to see auras at all times would make her even scarier so i would you know but even enough as it is she's she's a nightmare to deal with and i not a fan <laughs> So, definitely, she's a nightmare killer. Spirit, here's the thing. Spirit is spooky. I, it, it, there's no question about it. Because the thing is that even if you can kind of hear her coming with the haunting because of how, how loud the sound is, um, she still can kind of mind game a lot of people a lot of the time. She's also very hard. She's a very high tier killer in the competitive scale. She's a high tier killer in the fear factor as well. Um, just because of the fact that she can just teleport invisibly very fast and there's not really an easy way to know where she is and where she's coming from except for like you know the small cues that kick in every now and then so I still give credibility to the spirit catching me off guard every time that she does I can't even deny it because she you know she's also very scary looking like real 
real talk it's insane so again but if she had an ability that allowed her to maximize her obliviousness or even like her haunting movement is like completely quiet then her jump scaring would be insane like if there was like an add-on where she would be completely invisible while haunting but then when she's like in like two meters of a kill of a survivor or three meters and then she just automatically unfazes that's a jump scare every single time she teleports to somebody and that would be some scary nonsense and i wouldn't be a fan of it <laughs> it would it would catch me off guard very frequently so but you know creepy killer regardless honestly i probably put her a little bit scarier than than um than cannibal a bit but it doesn't take away the fact that she's scary Ghostface, another one. Listen, Ghostface is easily very, very scary. And because of the same problems that he has with the pig in terms of the fear factor, he can crouch and hide. And people who do that thing where they hide behind doors and then they kind of like... That is such a f fancy, schmancy, powerful move to use. It's insane. I, I literally see him like hiding behind a doorway just to kind of peek. I immediately undo, I stop working on the gen and I run away because I'm just too afraid. Now, again, same same kind of you know, uh, like appliance though. If he was able to not necessarily get the, um, like the expose on people, but he can, st but you know, he can, he can creep around places and then have the aura effect of people nearby, terrifying killer. People can easily mess with his nonsense and it won't even be like a, like a, like a joke. But even the concept of him alone though too, you know, again, very famous, classic scary fear killer no question about his his prowess as well he's he's scary especially when you um can't see him when you can't see him and then he gets the expose on you the the exposed pop is always very terrifying and when you find out that your your hud is red and he's coming after you then you got to quickly scavenge and figure out like oh my god like where's he coming from you know so he's obviously um <laughs> very very threatening in a high level of places and so I'm not gonna mess around with that killer anytime soon. Demogorgon, you know what I will say? Demogorgon in, in the actual like TV show of Stranger Things, very freaky killer, very eerie, and and perfect category for him as well. Um, the thing is, is that him, you know, using his portals makes it be very well known that he is like he's been here, you know, or he's been there, and you'd know that. But if you don't, um get rid of the portal right then you know if he just pops up out of that portal out of nowhere you have no choice but to run because that means that he's coming uh and even what's actually crazy is that people can actually play mind games with this killer just because of the simple fact that like he might have the portal there but he might not even use it you know and again things that kind of hide his obliviousness make it really hard to catch where he's coming from sometimes even more so too when you get to actually utilize his lunge attack the lunge that he has covers quite a bit of a distance and if you don't see where the lunge is but you don't hear the radius either when that that when that hits you scary some of the scariest things ever so freaky um so what i like about him is that he has great like variety on how to scare people and the mind game is actually pretty insane honestly i think i'd even put him on like a low spooky scale but i feel like he's kind of in the perfect in between of like spooky and eerie like he's not he's not at all like something that you would want to you know mess with but like him coming out of nowhere is rare but when it happens it's crazy oni oni is very much like a uh-oh killer in my mind because again when you when you hear you know what it is there's a lot of cues for him it tells you like the game will tell you like okay his meter is full right that means that he has the power to go angry at any point in time and then also you hear when he gets angry too so sometimes you gotta you know figure out like i need to find like a vantage point to figure out where is he when he's pissed and then make sure that i'm nowhere near there and also him running around as well makes it pretty He's pretty loud when he moves so you can kind of understand like you know even with your eyes closed you can like imagine where he might be going and then be able to just easily kind of a, like avoid and dodge him now of course he has the speed that's very much matchable to you know hillbilly and blight but still he's somebody that like is very menacing but it's hard for him to you know be like spooky and quiet even when he's using perks that make it hard to figure out where he is you can still kind of hear him coming so still a very powerful killer to you know put in the hands of a person but in terms of the actual like fear factor it's kind of looked to be questionable so 
Death Slinger. Okay, listen. I'm going to tell you right now. You're not going to believe me. Spooky, spooky, spooky killer. Like, wildly spooky. And I'll tell you why. Um, He has the same capabilities as this guy in terms of peeking. And because of that, it's so freaky for him to be able to just like you know have but he has a harpoon gun right and then peer it in the, in the side and then just like hide away but the worst part is when you don't hear the terror radius at all but you don't even hear a harpoon gun either and then all of a sudden you hear a huge bang and then it just magically is hooked on your back people definitely don't take advantage of his harpoon gun from a distance enough because of course like you know you want to be able to reel them in enough that you can get the hit but even just taking advantage of how well he's able to like catch you off guard is is wild like i i've come across many many different death slingers that have done that even like in a map like cold wind where like you know you all you see is like just corn you know what i mean <laughs> just like fields of corn and then a harpoon chain thing just magically shoots out out of that field of corn and just grabs you out of nowhere crazy wild um especially when even there's other levels um such as like haddonfield when he's in the houses and you don't even know where he's coming from sometimes he'll just literally like immediately pop out of a window and then just shoot you right there that is such a crazy jump scare and it's it's like it's so it's he's so spooky People, obviously, you want to try to use him for pressure because, you know, he's got a harpoon gun from a distance that can catch you from far away. But when you can utilize the sound of the gun and his uh, lack of presence sometimes, it, it's way, way left field. Um, if there was a really easy way to completely keep him hidden uh, or quiet, he'd easily be in the nightmare category. But he's also, he's again on the perfect cusp between like Nightmare and Spooky. He's just really, really scary to deal with sometimes. So, and Pyramid Head, or Pyramid Head also, like, also falls in that same category. Because you know what it is? It's the fact that he's able to be quiet in his movement. Even if you hear like the sword dragging on the floor, um, when the killer is able to use the judgment shot from a distance and and catch you working on a gen or in a position that you just you don't you know you almost question like how did he know i was there that's honestly something that really can catch people way off guard um he obviously doesn't have like any kind of crazy instant exposed down thing but just his presence alone is obviously very scary for a lot of like silent hill fans but his powers in this game really allow him to you know you can really mess with how the killer functions and just you know if you know like really good map knowledge you can easily scare a ton of people with this killer um not only letting them know of your presence but just being able to use the shot from a distance and then catching people from that they're not going to understand like what in the world just happened they're just going to immediately run for their lives because the the killer just happens to be nearby somehow so i i give him a lot of credibility for being able to be spooky in a lot of cases so power to pyramid head for that exact purpose Okay, here's the thing. I'm not gonna be biased. I'm gonna be very I'm gonna be very honest with you. I hate the Wraith, okay? Not because he's scary. He's he's for some reason, uh like I can do a whole podcast episode about him, okay? This is like my least favorite killer in the entire game for a large number of reasons. I'm not gonna get into, but despite all those things, very, very spooky killer. Um, especially because of the fact that he's just invisible and um kind of in the same format of how like nurse and Deslinger are when he just magically can appear out of nowhere especially when you don't see like his invisibility like you know you can kind of see him when he's invisible but when you can't hear him or see him and then he uncloaks and then he appears sometimes like the speed of him like approaching is just a jump scare in itself it's kind of crazy actually um also when you use that add-on that makes it undetectable to figure out where the bell's coming from all you get to understand is that he uncloaked somewhere, you know? So when he's going after the, the one lonely straggler who's by themselves, that becomes a fear factor in itself, you know? But he's also very much designed to do like reconnaissance. So that recon can be really heavily played with in a lot of ways that actually make him quite a menace. So again, I hate him, but not for the fact that he's, he's actually pretty scary sometimes. But, you know, when you when you play him in a certain way, yeah, he's actually very, very spooky. Invisibility is nothing to be afraid of. And, you know, when he's not nearby, but when you have no idea 
hangs on your case yeah crazy scary not a fan of that at all so trapper low-key trapper is actually pretty eerie and i'm gonna explain to you why um obviously like you know that the trapper has to put down traps in order to catch you off guard but like he's not like the fear factor of the game it's his traps that are because sometimes like when you see a trapper in one position doing something in a corner of an area and you're kind of like okay so he's over there cool i'm over here i'm gonna go to the other side then you don't really know whether or not he put traps there or not so if you find a gen that he's just nowhere near you kind of have to like play around with the idea of like hmm was he here did he put traps down i have no idea uh or you just you know beeline it and say screw it i'm gonna just go for it you know but the thing is that the 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 sound that the trap makes when it catches you is is actually pretty loud and unexpected so he he actually has the capabilities of being a very scary killer him himself as a presence is not like the scariest thing in the game but his traps are somehow a, a tool that he gets to take strong advantage of as something that can be very scary in itself um especially when he uses add-ons that reset the trap but then they also magically weren't in the same place that they were or if you forget where they were that also becomes a huge fear factor in itself as well so he's very eerie for a killer i gotta give him credibility for that because like it'll be insane when you you know can't find traps anywhere and you wonder like where are they and then you just magically get caught one in your feet and it's just over from that point so power to, to the trapper for that plague honestly i gotta put her in the no category but like here's the thing so you she can't use her powers really if you are trying to scare people um she's you know she's very tall skinny killer um you know she can position herself in a lot of ways to be scary and kind of catch you off guard but like you also she has a lot of uh audio cues in her own on her person alone that kind of lets you know like she's you know she's on her way nearby or something of the nature um and again she just has the capabilities of doing things to keep you pressured but the problem i think with her is that she can't use her powers to scare you i don't really think so I mean, again, this is completely like my perspective of it because I feel like, you know, plague is extremely powerful on the pressure scale without a question of doubt. You know, when you find that there's a plague running around, you have to make a choice. And that choice is always heavily tough to choose from and like it's hard to decide. But from like a fear factor, even if you use stuff to like make her hidden or, you know, undetectable or, or oblivious to things and anything of that nature, um, her vomit spit will let you know that she's been around, you know, but also she's got like the smoke that comes from her from her weapon pretty much that it just you know it lets you know she's she's like nearby so I, I would be very interested to see like if they're able to add some kind of scary you know fear factor to her then like it'd be very fascinating to see what they do but for right now i think she's not really a killer that i'm ever too nervous of being around i'm more so scared about like how do i get out of here if anything but not not from her sake just more so the the you know the choices that we have while trying to like do generators hillbilly honestly something something fearsome man but his chainsaw also really puts him in a category that just is like uh oh you know because he's it, he lets you know that he's on the way pretty much every single time he also has like a like a battle cry when he's about to dash <laughs> so it can definitely be something that you know you can play around with as a as a killer but you know he doesn't have that same kind of like uh fear fear factor spookiness that like the cannibal has especially because like he can kind of sit there and just run and go around a corner he has to do it in like a straight line but again don't get me wrong though if there's a level that he can just run a straight line in very quickly and just cover a lot of ground very fast you're definitely gonna have to figure out like which way is he coming from and then just like make a choice and run you know but he's not really the best at being quiet i would say um but again credibility if you can you know figure out how to do that with him because i feel like he's definitely a menace to be feared of um but he definitely screams like stress <laughs> in some cases he he's honestly in my like uh oh like this is something that i gotta prepare for kind of category you know so that's why i put him out legion honestly i i feel like many people have a hard time dealing with legion on a pressure scale but on a fear scale he's kind of not there um because he kind of has the same problem as the plague in terms of like being able to use his power because when you hear him coming you hear his heavy breathing and his running 
if there was a way to actually nullify the sound of him coming, then like he has the capabilities of definitely appearing out of nowhere, but he still would also have to like be fast and or, or have some kind of way to like be, you know, invisible to some degree. But it, one thing he definitely has going for him is the fact that he can be quiet. Or she, actually, you know. But like the legions have a have a you know, the capability of blending in with the crowd, but you know, their cosmetics don't really add to the fear factor of, you know, the other survivors because as much as they can be the same size, they still stand out. But if Legion was able to be hidden in some case, in some way, shape, and form, then definitely be something fearful to have. But right now, the way that he plays, it, it, he and she is just not really something worth messing with. So it's kind of like a whatever factor to me. So, so there's that. I don't even want to talk about the blight because <laughs> definitely very eerie and very creepy and very spooky for a variety of purposes. So the thing about Blight is that he has the same problem in terms of fear factoring that the hillbilly has, right? You can hear and see him coming. The speed of his approach is definitely unparalleled to a wide degree. Um, but he also has to like hit a, you know, an obstacle to maintain that momentum. So I don't know. I feel like he's, he's a killer that can definitely catch you off guard in some cases but if there was ways to nullify his sound while doing things then yeah the jump scares would appear out of nowhere and it'd be some crazy freaky nonsense and i wouldn't be offended at it ever but you know again his powers are very good for pressure and also covering a lot of ground but in terms of doing it very silently and meticulously it's it's a uh, it's definitely you know something that you got to play around with and kind of be prepared for twins okay now twins even even the both of them okay this is both charlotte and victor spooky scary weird killers and i'll tell you why because victor is really freaky <laughs> him being the sole you know small purpose character as he as they are very scary not a fan especially when you like hear him coming you you get like that uh oh factor but the problem is also when you you know don't know from where and then the pounce happens from a distance if you can actually design or, or create a certain kind of momentum and like distance for the pounce where you can't hear victor but you can you know you can still catch somebody then that jump scare is is insane um people really have taken him for granted in terms of being able to be like a scary killer and it's insane uh, Charlotte for the same purpose as well like she's something that like you you know you can definitely walk around corners with while stuff is happening and it's it's kind of insane um but of course like when people are you know seeing her but she's like sitting there you're kind of like okay cool like Victor's around right but like where's Victor but the worst part is when you're you know somehow in her like line of sight when she comes back and then she sees you you immediately kind of get like the jump and then you got to just make a run for it so she's very spooky because she can play being at two places at once in this game is very unlikely in a lot of places, but she's the one to do it. And and so her, you know, her fear factor is very unparalleled in a lot of ways versus others. But, you know, she's definitely something that will be, you know, a menace to deal with, especially in certain levels too, where you just have no idea where Victor is. Trickster is honestly like an uh-oh killer to me because I feel like right now he is you know very pressure heavy right the design behind him is to, is to have you trying to f like scramble to figure out like a hiding spot but while you're still being chased by the killer as well you know he doesn't really have a way to um be very scary plus like he's colored in you know he's covered in neon colors too so it's kind of like a really easy light bulb to see kind of in the distance but even still though he's he's a killer that definitely can you know catch you off guard in the moment but not enough times where you get spooked by people up here you know but again he's very much like a a killer that plays the field and it lets you know like okay he's coming we should probably figure out like what to do and then you gotta you know figure it out from there so there's trickster nemesis is honestly on the eerier side and again it's it's not even because of nemesis it's actually because of the zombies sometimes the zombies will just spawn out of the ground right behind you and i've actually recently learned that like when they're actually in the process of coming up from the ground you don't hear them like digging out of the dirt it's when they do like a little like zombie cry that you hear them that has actually been the thing that catches me off guard 
very very frequently and it's honestly not a fun like a fun thing to deal with because um you know nemesis is big and, and scary and he stomps all over the place um and as a huge Resident Evil fan myself, like RE3 definitely scared the the heck out of me in a lot of scenarios, where he his speed is unparalleled in that game, and in this game, it's something that kind of changes the pacing of how he approaches you. But the thing is, like when you're able to be chased by Nemesis, but the jump scare from the zombie appears out of nowhere. That's the thing that really ends up catching people way off guard. And I feel like that's really important for his uh, his kit and his build too. But, you know, he's also something that is designed to do a lot of pressure. But the zombies also kind of keep you on your toes. But it's worse when zombies keep you on your toes and also come around corners. And you don't have a clue that they're there. So, you know, hey, shout out to him for despite being a very big and loud killer. Actually pretty, pretty eerie. Cenobite is honestly a killer that kind of has the same factor, but the thing is that he thrives on like using the box, you know what I mean? So as much as um, he is a very famous classic killer, his uh, pressure game really does force you to make a choice, you know? But when you know that the chains are up and about, then, you know, finding the box is hard. But the... the the jump scare that comes from him solving the box before you do is not too much of a jump scare. It's just kind of like a, oh shoot, like he's coming kind of vibe too, you know? But even still though, when he actually has the box because he found it in some way and you don't know when he's going to use it, that jump scare hits just as hard as the doctor's uh, giant shock blast. So those two kind of pair up together really well in terms of being able to add like fear in the moment for you where you just kind of don't know what they're going to do and then they do it and then you're not ready for it, you know? So power to Cenobite for being able to be a, a very eerie killer for that exact regard. Ardis is is kind of in the same boat. The thing is, is um, her crows have a trajectory. You can also kind of see them when they travel, but the other thing too is that the, the, the crows like positioning kind of lets you know that she was over there too. It's kind of hard for her to really stay inconspicuous in some cases, but like she also just has that capability in, in ways that you kind of don't ever see coming. Um, the worst thing is, too, is when you, you know, have to deal with the crows in some way. And then, you know, her her catching you with like the small crows and you forcing to repel them. She can see where you are in a moment. And honestly, she has the power to, to kind of catch you from the other side when she does that it, for some reason it's it's something that you really don't think about too much but when it happens and it scares you you're like oh sh like how did i get scared by a, like an artist you know what i mean but but she really does have that very eerie creepy vibe especially because like her the sounds that she makes when she's walking around is just so like it's so chilling you know hiding her radius even when you hear that sound it's just really it's really scary to figure out even more so too though when she because you know I've, I've i'm well aware that people use iron maiden with her um her using iron maiden knowing that the crows are a thing it's actually pretty crazy for them to you know for, for artists to force survivors into lockers find that they're coming out of a locker with iron maiden and then make the survivor play the guessing game of like you know where she's coming from you never really are ready for when that happens um unless you're kind of hanging by a door but then it's really bad when she's actually coming around that door side you know and she catches you off guard so she's she's definitely very creepy for that pat you know that exact pattern too <sighs> everyone hates the ring girl all right she's scary as she is it's insane um and and for this reason too definitely a nightmare killer to be a reckon with she's so creepy weird um, the phasing, the random invisibility, the appearing in the moment, the going through the TVs, everything about her is very, it just screams fear, you know what I mean? So she is, no question of a doubt, like a very terrifying nightmare to deal with, just because like the Ring movies also play that kind of factor into it. But her fear factor as a whole as well is very unsettling for a variety of reasons. Um, I've, I've still yet to actually figure out how her kit functions outside of the tvs but even you know it doesn't really matter to me if i know that she's around seeing her walk around is kind of creepy seeing her stand in place and just like being in a position where you don't see her is even worse um i remember when i was playing rpd one time um half of her was like at the doorway and i was i like looked there and then i was on the gen and i looked back and her and she was just there watching me 
she didn't and, and it was it was so freaky and i hated it because i was i was like horribly terrified of the concept that she could be somebody that just runs around um and again she's small so you don't really think like a big killer is around on the loose when you find out that she's the one terrorizing you because she just magically appears out of nowhere and it's scary as heck so i i'm not a fan <laughs> for that matter she's terrifying uh wesker here's what i will say for right now okay only because he's kind of newer and people are definitely figuring out how he functions i'm gonna put him in the uh-oh category now the thing is that like mastermind slash wesker he's got that dash attack you can you can you know you can feel the pressure of his power and his positioning and his location and he's definitely a very powerful killer to play against um but on the fear factor scale he's you know people i feel like people just haven't really figured out how to play around with him all too much because it requires a lot of precision um people well i remember one time there was a moment where someone was hanging by the exit gates just kind of like like waiting for the killer so that they can like last second get away and that wesker was a genius and basically preemptively did the first dash to get to the gate but the second one they dashed at the survivor that was at the door and then they got them in the moment and that was literally it it was crazy because you know when you get hit by the by the bound you actually can't escape after you get hit so they had to run away um but that moment was very very scary but to imagine a Wesker play like that the entire game and appear, you know, use the first dash to cover some distance and then get to the doorway and then the second one to just snatch you. I want to see a Wesker play with perks like Plaything and, um, you know, Blood Flavor and like things like that just to make sure that they can they can stay kind of quiet because he's not like a he's not a small killer. But he's not also like huge, you know, he's in that perfect like body size where he will just be roaming about but his dash attack because it covers a lot of ground like the demogorgon i feel like they can easily be rivaled together as killers that you know add a lot of eeriness to their positioning and placement um but it's but still he's he's a threat in general so to be a threat and be like a silent threat would be a huge lethal combination i just haven't seen that yet too much from weskers i know the possibility is there it just hasn't happened yet so and and you know last but not least with the dredge you know i think a lot of people can generally just agree with the consensus idea that like dredge is a very scary killer for a variety of reasons the main one honestly being the fact that he can bust out of lockers the locker thing is wild in in a lot of ways um because even if you like you still get jump scared when the locker is closed you know if the door gets closed then it's just like a what like okay and he you know the first the first cue of the locker jump is is already enough to catch you running to the hills you know but when there's no lock and he just busts out it's terrifying um and even the and one of the my favorite powers that he has too which actually is a huge inspiration to my mind is that like he can make the entire map dark I'm so shocked that that's not something that like a lot of people just can't apply in general. But you know, him having it as a certain power makes it a whole lot scarier for him too. Um, the also simple fact that like he's able to just like have like an oblivious like terror radius is actually pretty insane. Um, but you can still see him even if it's like a it's like a bare visual of his of his presence, still really left field scary. Um, you know he doesn't have a lot of ways to cover distance when he's in a chase right but like him being able to be very quiet and also in the dark it, it's like a huge like you know two for one special phobia that people just are never really prepared for so um the worst part is when you're trying to run for your life and you don't know where to go you know and then he's he's after you then you're just like what are you know what am i doing and then he's he's there so easily a killer that's a force to be reckoned with uh, and night night hasn't come out yet but i feel like i, I can already imagine night being kind of sort of on the eerie to spooky category i'm gonna put him here for now kind of like matching with demo but not in terms of the pressure that comes from him it's more so the fact that people can play heavy mind games with the night because of the way that his power works you know because i was watching um you know several people play him during the ptb moments and what you essentially do is you kind of create the trail and then the, the night will start at the end of the trail and then come to where you know you started to do it 
So one thing I would love to see people apply as the Night Killer is to kind of create a positioning that forces the Knight to come from one direction, but then you yourself as the killer come from the other, right? Because, you know, when you see the guard coming from your right, you're not really looking to your left. So that, that left surprise attack is definitely something that would immediately catch me way off guard. So, I mean, this is probably how I feel about the list so far. Like I said, I feel like a lot of killers that are here, very scary, very lethal. I think everyone, however, that is kind of like from the B tier and below, so like from Eerie, uh oh and Nope, they all have potential to become scary. I just don't see it too often enough to the moment where like it's something that really like showcases phobia, you know? But everyone else from Spooky and above, terrifying killers all the way through for, for their own particular reasons as well. And some do it a lot better than others. And, you know, right now Myers has the crown and it's well deserved because his powers are very much like a lethal threat in terms of being able to just add that fear in every single corner. Like you never know where to go. So, you know, this is it. So hopefully this um, list is a at least like a close representation to how a lot of people feel about which killers are scariest to not. Uh, let me know in the comments how you guys think and feel about this. And, you know, hopefully we can get ourselves an updated version of this in the months to come. So thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one.